Good evening. Tonight, we are going to talk about it. Qi for pain. Talk about the pain. Everyone has many different ideas. I would like to tell you, whatever what we discussed tonight is not a mainstream concept because we are through the Qi which means we are through the energy, the lens of the energy. So if you through the lens of the energy, look at the pain, then entire pain will have different colors, will have different stories, right? Talk about the pain, who doesn't have, right? They have many different kinds of pain. You have a physical pain, you have an emotional pain, then you might have a spiritual pain. So how do you know what kind of pain is, right? No matter what kind of pain is, bottom line is still happens in your body, right? So still happens at the physical dimensions, which is your body. Then once we talk about this body, then we are through the chi level, we are through the energetic level, once we say the chi, then we say the energy. We go back to the first class where we talk about it. The chi has a consciousness, right? Everything is the chi, everything is the energy. All the energy has a consciousness and all the consciousness has a purpose. So once we use that law to apply for the pain, now what are we going to say? What is say is the what is the consciousness behind the pain? It's that every pain has their own unique story because it's a consciousness, right? But because it's consciousness, then they have a purpose. So let me go through the simple, easy way first, right? Being a woman, everyone experienced the chi. So I came through the traditional Chinese medicine point of view, Right? Generally speaking, no matter what kind of pain associated with either energy stagnation or blood stagnation, or both. Right? When it manifests at the physical body. Being a woman, most people have experience, right? During the menstrual cycle, you have a cramp. That's the pain, right? So when you have a pain, what is that pain? So how do you know the pain? Is the chi stagnation or is the blood stagnation? The one of the very simple things where we say body never lie, right? Body never lie. So how do you see is the blood stagnation? So we say, do you have a clock? So if you see your menstrual cycle has a clock, then you know it's a blood stagnation, right? It's not the chi stagnation. Then definitely associated with the chi. Right, it's associated with the chi. So all of these chi are real flow inside the body. Now we talk about doing the menstrual cycle. What's other kind of pain? Some people suffer lower back pain. Some people suffer headache, and some we suffer the breast tenderness, and sometimes it's so painful. That pain is the chi. See, it's not the blood stagnation. Doing the menstrual cycle, your breast tenderness and the breast pain. That's the chi stagnation. So that's why you use the acupuncture, one needle you can release in the pain because acupuncture will put the needle into the meridians, allow the chi flow. As long as the chi flow, disease and illness cannot exist. So that's why acupuncture be look like, be say that, and acupuncture is for pain. You know, one way is make sense, you know, and the other way is, in my opinion, use acupuncture to treat the pain. It's almost like you use a diamond to level the table, or you use the missile to shoot the fly. You know, totally waste, right? So acupuncture somehow is so valuable because they are dealing not just in the physical level, they can deal at the energetic level, 
right? That's a different different topic we can talk about later. So tonight we talk about the pain, right? So the pain, generally speaking, we say is a blood stagnation or qi stagnation, but also has one of the very important factors in the pain. Generally speaking, most the pain, most the pain, right? I would say that about that I difficult to say. It may be 90% of the pain. 90% of the pain associated with the factor is a cold, right? Can be temperature cold or can be essence cold. So think of this. So that's why many people have an experience, right? During the menstrual cycle, you have a pain. If you can put a old hot bottles, you know, heating pads on your stomach, what do you do? You generate the heat. So what's the heat gonna to do? The warm essence will allow the energy move. And the most likely, most of the pain associated with the cold. Right? Most of the pain associated with the cold. So that often you see, you go to see the acupuncturist or herbalist, they always ask you, hey, if you are pain associated, take a hot, sh hot shower, or does your pain take a hot bath and can release it? If you say yes, then that's the signs. That's your body telling you, okay, once you see the warm essence come into your body, pain will release it. Right? So in the pain, cold and hot, this concept also is a totally question, right? Which is a totally different compared to the Western way to deal with the pain. Right? You see the at the sport injury, one of the days, once you have a pain, what do you do? You immediately put the ice, ice, right? You will have a cold to deal with the pain. And the Eastern and the when we do the martial arts. And the master will never say, hey, don't use at that time we don't have ice. Then we use the, you know, the well water is so cold. Don't use cold. The master say, once you use cold, you never reach the highest level, be flexible. And when you're getting old, you might often get arthritis. I talk about the pain and the arthritis, one of the common disease as of today, right? And arthritis. What is the arthritis going to do, right? Pain, stagnation, right? Doesn't move, not be flexible. All of these are associated with the energy stagnation and the blood stagnation. So that's why when you have arthritis, most likely you love warm weather, right? So the winter, you love to move to the Florida, Miami, right? So you love warm areas. Why? Because warm essence. Warm temperature will allow blood flow, will allow body function differently. So therefore, you have to be careful. We have to understand entire concept of the pain, right? The pain is not the cause. The pain is the effect. So here, bring the some concept is the effect. So when we treat the pain. When we deal with the pain, we must understand what is the behind the pain, right? So we say everything's energy. So the pain behind it is energy. So energy can define it as the materialize or non-materialize, right? So that's why if a materialize, then we say it's the blood. If a non-materialize, then it can be the chi, right? So somehow if you have a chi and the blood pain, then you have both. I give you the other example. For example, generally speaking, right, sport injury, right? You're driving the car, you suddenly someone hit you, you will twist the neck or back. That's a sport injury. Look like an accident that happens. Often that type of the pain are caused both, right? Then both can be effect and you have and the cheese stagnation also has a blood stagnation. But but what I say, behind this, you are still as inside the body of the balance. So if inside the body, inside your body balance, even though you be hit by car, even though you have a sport, your fall is a you know you run and then you have a hose, you can see you can fall, but you still wouldn't get an injury. You look at the kids, 
right? So they run, they fall, boom, they get up. They continue moving. They don't get an injury, most likely, right? Only when we're getting older, when we say it. It's not that we're getting older, that's called age discrimination. It means that only when we get out of balance. See, when the body of the balance, then something happens. Then accident happens. So why accident happens, is it happens at the invisible level. Never happen is the accident. The accident behind it is your body of the balance. Your body of the balance, generally speaking, I'll give you the other example. Like uh, if you are off the balance, the left side of the balance and the right side is not off balance. Right now the snow time, you want to go to ski, right? You do the ski and then the sudden you say, oh, I hurt my knees, right? I get the injury. So is the ski caused the injury or is your out the balance caused the injury? Right? Often you need to see these things because that's why you come to the Chinese doctors, you come from the real trained acupuncturists, they are not just going to treat the pain. They must understand what is going on, what is the behind. So this way, and later on, you won't suffer the pain, right? And later on, you will treat the root cause of the problems. You don't carry out the symptoms, right? The symptoms can be disappeared, the pain can be disappeared, but doesn't mean problem disappear. Your body still carry on out of balance. And then sooner or later, you still get it again. Right? Everyone have experienced some of your friends. So if they at the at the high school teenager twist the angle, then they continue. Right? So because they are at the football teams, they want to play, you know, then do the treatment. Right? You can get a cortisone shot, you can put the eyes, you can put the, any kind of way, and the pain can go away. Then you pray. You are not to play one season, couple a couple games. You twist the angle again. Why? Because inside that hasn't balanced yet. Right? Your inside the body hasn't treated yet. So you get an injury again. Right? So yeah, when the weather good, who doesn't want to go out to play the golf? Right? You hit the ball, it's oh I twisted my neck. Oh I might twist in my lower back. So it's easier to say, oh, I get an injury. But you are very difficult to say, oh, because of my kidney function disorder, then I get a lower back injury, right? So that's why we say when we deal the pain, we must deal what is the cause and what's the effect. And here still doesn't say the many things at the different levels. You know, has a different level, and then has emotional pain. Talk about the emotional pain. I think every one of you have an understanding, right? This kind of emotional pain. What's the emotional pain? Right? Yeah. So then they say, oh, that's Thanksgiving. So we have a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, suddenly someone get a migraine headache. Why? Because you don't want to sit on the table, discuss the politic, right? It's not a turkey cause of your headache. It's a part of it. It's the something that's called emotional pain, right? So once you say, oh, I have to go to see my mother-in-law, you got a headache. You got a stress, you got a headache, right? So you know the stress headache, that's emotional pain, right? And then you assign the temple. And then why? And then later we're going to talk about it, right? And you talk about the pain, there are different levels. So emotional level, have emotional pain, right? The spiritual then definitely, that's much difficult to see, but it's still going to show at the physical body. But the emotional already, many people can see that this kind of sinus pain, headache, right? But sometimes emotions, so smart, so intelligent, each one of the us, right? So intelligent, we can use this emotion create different kind of pain. And then the pain become good excuse. Right? Pain become a good excuse. What give you the best reason say I don't have to come? Headache? Migraine? A twist in my neck? I don't have to go. Right? So therefore we are difficult to see the this part. 
you know. But if you're going to learn this way, if you're going to really want to deal the pain, then you must understand. You must understand invisible and visible. If you have a difficult understand this one, please go back to, I think it's the second talk. We talk about the, how to get the chi from the dark energy, dark matters. We talk about the visible and the invisible, right? So the entire whole world is talk about the invisible and the visible. It's always talk about the inside and outside, how to balance and how to get the harmony. So therefore, when we treat the pain, when we deal the pain, then we must deal this way, right? So now use the same concept, the same concept, right? We are dealing many different levels of the pain. One of the arthritis, I still go back to the, this, you know, arthritis as the one of the major autoimmune disease as today, many people have to face into that. Right? So once you deal this, so do we deal the pain or we deal why I have this autoimmune disease? Think of this. Why? Why the body suddenly turned into the autoimmune disease? So how do we define the autoimmune? Right? As what I see, right? As what I know, you know, most time as today, we define that it's our own immune system attack our body. So now think about how can your own immune system attack yourself? What's happening, right? So it's the easiest way. I don't know if that's called English or not. I think it's easier English, which means your autoimmune system confused, right? Your own body started confused. I confused. I don't know which one's real, which one's good, which one. So how can your own defense system, immune system, get confused. What is the immune system going to do for you? Everything falling, right? Every falling attack your body or come into your body, your immune system is supposed to just stand up. Hey, you are falling. You are not good for me. You better get up. So that is at the normal way, right? But, but, if you're constantly cheating or constantly make your immune system alert, alert, then sooner or later, your immune system doesn't know what is the real, what is not the real anymore, right? So we all heard that the story, oh, it's a wolf come, right? The little boy, it's a wolf come in the first time and the second time and the third time. When the, you know, when the fourth time they come, no one gonna come to save you, right? But if we do the same thing for our own new system, what's that mean? That means that today's taxing message, in my opinion, will cause the autoimmune disease and the later. Think of this way, right? How many times you are alert, you are emotional alert, didn't immediately to see what's going on, who call you, who taxing you. You immediately try to alert your system, your sense and the sensibility, your nerve system constantly and the vibrate at a different frequency. So sooner or later, do you feel so tired? So that's why end of the day, everybody feel tired. I'm depressed, definitely you don't have energy to fight. Then your own immune system doesn't know what is the not the real, what is the real, right? We say falling. Right? That's a texting message is affording. It's not your, it's not you saying that out, someone texting you. It's the same concept. Right? So you want to see something different. I'm just a per try to give you different angles. That's what I see. If you use the chi angle, you must use consciousness angle to understand this, to prevent this. Right? So then we go back to the, again, simple concept. All the pain, generally speaking, associated with the qi deficiency or stagnation or blood stagnation. Right? Sometimes it's both. So once the body start to change, which is at the beginning, generally speaking, always start with the qi level, which is 
you have a pain, calm goes. Every time you go to the test, you run all of these EKG, MR, you are perfect, nothing wrong, right? Think about it, you have a migraine headache, if constantly what do you do? EKG, MRI, and then doctors say it's, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with your brain. That's cheap because it cannot see, machine cannot see this unless, unless you have a blood clot, and then they see, they see the colors, right? They see something. If that's cheap, machine doesn't design it as today's, all of these modern machines, it's not designed to see the chi level. They designed it to see materialized level, right? So only what you can see is materialized the chi. So once you see the blood clot, once you see the tumor, right? And then you see tumor is the other angle of the chi and the blood stagnation, breast tumors. Urine tumor, right? That's called the chi and the blood stagnation. And then definitely you can have a you know this kind of pain become all the joints pain. So you have to move, right? So that's why I will create this called the joint qigong, right? At the morning we practice the joint qigong, allow joint to move, right? Anyone understand the joint? Joint associate all the as the liver. So that's why being a woman's health liver. It's the most important organ, right? Only liver can move the chi so quickly, so smoothly, right? So you have to think in this way, how can you real fix your pain? And then first you have to say, how does my liver function? Which level my liver function? stay there or how can I promote my healthy liver function therefore I can real deal the pain instead of find that magical pills that magical herb but there's no such things right second thing is environment you have to change avoid the cold right avoid the cold food ice water raw vegetable don't eat too much cold stuff you need a warm warm soup Right, even temperature outside. Right, and then second thing, and then third thing is the chi. Energy has to be strong. So tonight I'm gonna to teach you guys one very simple chi practice. Chi for the pain. Right, give you a temporary. That's just a temporary deal. The pain you can see. Does your chi is stronger or does your pain is easy to deal? Right, so you remember when I say every class you guys should do this called a dragon standard between heaven and earth, right? You already hold this posture because that's the thumb, so powerful, right? Holding that, so if you hold it this way, try to move your thumb, draw your thumb forward. Try to do that a couple of times, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, Four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Good. Which hand? Pick up the which hand is your stronger hand. Suppose your left hand or right hand, all right? So let your thumb raise up slowly. Just push out one. Go one more time. Push out two. Push out, push out three. One more time. Four. Five. Good. Now use your thumb. Push the any place you feel pain. Suppose you say, I have a shoulder pain. Find the most painful spot. Or you say, I have a neck pain. Doesn't matter where. Just find the where you have a pain or knee, whatever. Use that thumb, hold it. Push as hard as possible. Try hold it there. Push it as hard as possible. Push, hold it there. Then releasing that one more time. Go push it hard as hard as possible. Let it go. Let it push it harder. Then loose up. One more time. Go push. 
Nein ruhig lesen. How do you feel the pain? I think most of the time, most of the people have some different degrees ruhig lesen, right? That's called a qi tylenol. I call the qi tylenol. It's a quick way you use qi to release the pain. That just releasing the pain doesn't fix the root cause the problem, right? So you still need to find out what is the problem. So therefore, that's the called the diagnosis. You have to know where's the pain, right? Then therefore, apply the concept. We know at the real state, we all say location, 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 right? Location is very important. Location is important. You know, even though you say I have shoulder pain at the front, at the middle, and the back, meaning something. They are meaning a different meridians. They are meaning as a different kind of emotions. Right, even the knee pain, right? Knee pain inside the knee or outside the knee also meaning something. In the daytime has more pain, in the nighttime has more pain, meaning different, right? And most of the people suffer very serious the pain most at the nighttime because the daytime has more energy, has young sun's rise. At the nighttime, it's not right. So you real have to see the pain is not just a single pain. They are associated. For so many things, they have a relationship. So if you want to know this relationship, go to our website, right? Called the TCMWorld.org. Use this five element consciousness framework. That framework, that map, allow you to see all the relationship, right? So that's why I say, when we deal the problem, we must see the relationship. We must see. The chi connections. Without this, we only treat root cause the problems. So I hope this information can help you understand your chi, your chi, with your pain. Thank you very much. See you next time.